we're moving. Next stop. Hello friends. I have just moved into a new place and I've had a couple of questions this week. People asking me, they're planning on coming in traveling and doing the kind of more nomadic thing. They want to know what's good to bring, what you actually need. Now, a lot of people, as we sure we've all done, overpack. I've pretty much got my whole life down to a single suitcase and a carry-on bag, which is a really good feeling. And I, even now, I feel like I've got too much stuff. But I just wanted to show you some really core bits of kit that I wouldn't go anywhere without. And I'll show you the new place as well. Decent little view. So, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. There we go, we've got a little desk, bed, comfy, plenty of room for more than one person. Wardrobe that is empty at the moment, that's me. And then bathroom, look at that, there you are. You've seen a bathroom before. So, very, very good, very reasonable as well. I've taken some stuff out, but I just wanted to show you some of these bits here. One of the number one bits of advice is, when you buy clothes, if you are planning on being mobile, buy clothes that are black. Black goes with everything, okay? I'm wearing black and black. I never have to think. So when you're replenishing your wardrobe, just buy things that are black. Now I'd recommend getting something like this, super lightweight. I wear this on the planes, but I also wear it in the evening sometimes. Rolls up, it dries really quickly. It's like a microfiber material. You can wear it hiking. Um, so yeah, having some sort of like black jumper, North Face, Birdhouse, something like that, that's a core bit of kit. The next one is this off spray bag. Now, this is a big bit of kit. I got this because it's completely waterproof, weatherproof. Do you know, you never know when you're gonna, where you're gonna end up. If you go in skiing, it might need to be tied on a roof somewhere. So it's very, very durable, completely waterproof. I prefer it to a hard case. I know some people prefer hard cases. I like this a lot. It's got loads of room in it, got little compartments here. You can fit so much in this thing. It's got straps to, tie it down pretty just much a big open space there's nothing really exciting there's a little pocket at the top um, sturdy as well and then inside of that i just have all of these packs now this is a must if you are traveling you need packs from amazon they're like so cheap and then you can organize your things shorts you know different types of t-shirts whatever it is even now at the moment i think i've probably got too many clothes i think that's other jumpers but yeah put everything in packs I bring this everywhere with me and I actually have a bit of a weird morning routine. This stays by my bed. Don't get any weird ideas. Really like using this in the morning. I use it on my face and neck. Yeah, it's just a good start to the day. So this might seem like a weird morning routine. It's not like a cold plunge or meditation, but yeah, this, ah, oh, I just put this in all of the pressure spots. And I used to wake up a lot with migraines and headaches. Yeah, since doing this, like before bed or as I wake up, uh, they seem to go. Gets rid of all the tension headaches. I kind of like do it on my neck and like my temples and here. So yeah, I've got this little travel size thing. I've got this little travel size thing. And most mornings I'll wake up and um, yeah, it's actually a really nice way to start the day. It wakes you up and um, yeah, your neck feels really, really good. You feel really fresh to start the day. Right, next we'll do shoes. So we've got some Burks because Burks are great. I've got some running shoes and then I've got these New Balance shoes that are pretty good, but they've got the Vibram soles. So I use these as like my hiking shoes and they're really, really good. You can also run in them if you wanted to, but they're quite versatile rather than big um, hiking boots. They do the trick. And then I've got these things from Hocker that are like, Hiking sandals, they're called. They're super comfy. They're like trainers, zip tie thing, whatever that's called. But yeah, you can get them wet. You can go to the beach in these. It's kind of like sandals, but you can kind of do activities in them as well. They're just a really kind of versatile bit of kit. I really, really like these. I don't even know what to describe them as, but they're great. Right, let's have a look in here. It's got boxing gloves. Jack actually gave those to me and they're fucking sick. I love them. So I haven't actually packed this. I just picked up some washing this morning. Um, so it's just, pack of fresh washing from the person who does the washing. There you are, all folded and ironed, cost me like 2p or something. Then, yep, yeah, this is important, a waterproof that you can just throw over things that's needed if you're in Asia. And yeah, there's just a couple of books and a spare set of socks in there. Nothing really interesting in there, but that's a nice little bag. I actually have grown quite attached to this bag. It's got blood all over it though, I need to clean it. Um, for where I fell off my bike the other day. Okay, and then two bits of Lulu Lemon kit these are phenomenal so let's start with this this is just a little like side bag thing this is really really good it's it's waterproof it keeps things dry i'll put it on fashion it there you are so when you're going around asia you need this sort of stuff oh, yeah, i've got my uh, sniff 
in there as well from Thailand. But yeah, this is good. I mean, you don't want to bring a backpack. It's completely waterproof. It's got loads of space. It's got two compartments. Perfect for like airports. You can fit your passport, cash and stuff in there. There's, yeah, this, Lululemon just makes some great bits of kit. Highly recommend something like that. And then I have this bag. I probably need to get a new one because I've absolutely battered it but I absolutely love this bag. I use this for everything. I use this for travel, I use this for hiking, I've run in this bag. It is so comfortable and it's also so practical. There's so much you can do with this bag, it's crazy. Um, it's really, really comfortable. So like I said, you can do the hiking thing with it. It's got all of this here, super comfortable, breathable on the back. I've walked up so many mountains in this thing. But then as well as that, it's got the a huge, laptop compartment as well so that's a 16 inch macbook i've got my ipad in there as well they both fit in with loads of room to spare nice big zips i think i stole from my berg house um, and added it did some mods yeah then it's got these pockets got my kindle in there um these these are a good bit of kit as well for recording so some wireless mics from dji uh, bring those everywhere with me they just stay in the bag yeah there's loads of room down here got like mouse and watch and stuff got a pocket here so you can keep like your wallet and valuables up there then it has this waterproof bit so if you've gone to the gym or you've got something soaked you can put it in here like that zip it up <laughs> and it's completely waterproof, so it won't get the rest of your stuff wet, and it's got these drainage holes, so it dries as well. Unbelievable. It's got these pockets that fit like a huge bottle of water in. You can fit like a big one liter bottle of water in both of those. Yeah, it's so good. I'm, I should get like a discount code or whatever it's called, be an influencer for this. Yeah, and then it's got this thing, which is good. I like sometimes strap the other bags to it. It's got the gla standard glasses case thing, which is hard. And then it's got some front pockets as well for other things. This one, the only thing is this broke a while ago. This used to be magnetic, it's not anymore. But yeah, and then it's got like a thing here as well. I think you can do something with that. I never use that. But yeah, fantastic bag. Like only like 150 quid, but it's just so worth it. So yeah, it's pretty much all my shit. That's everything that I take with me. Um, the key bits of kit there are the backpack. Oh, and then the last one is something like this. I got this from a company called Nomadic. It's like a washing, portable washing basket. So you just like squeeze it together like that and it goes really compact. So it fits in your bag and then you can kind of hang it up and things can sort of have a bit of air when you're in a hotel room or wherever you are. But yeah, so the main points there are just get everything that's black. That's gonna make your life really, really easy. Get some packs so you organize your clothes and you're not like just rummaging around and just a bag full of clothes like a loser. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else really to show you. But yeah, I know a few people have asked like, what do they need to pack? And I think the less you can bring, the better. Um, my advice would be for clothes, you can always buy stuff here um, and it's good quality depending where you are. I would bring a pair of jeans, black trousers, a few black t-shirts, I literally have this same t-shirt three, four times. Then black shorts, again, Lululemon black shorts are the ones that I prefer because they're super comfortable. You can wear them with swimming trunks, they've got inner lining as well. Yeah, the Lululemon stuff is just solid. It's just solid. I don't like their marketing, their marketing's pretty lame, but the quality of their products is just undeniable, it's so good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I've got a little bag here for electrics and stuff. Yeah, so I think the main thing is buy black and be organized and you'll make your life very, very easy. Like I've been staying at Darren's for the last uh, week and a bit now, and I just pulled out two of these packs and that was my clothes for the week and the rest just kind of stayed in. So I didn't really have to think about it and that worked well. So yeah, I hope that's been somewhat interesting for you. Been a bit of a um, basic bitch there and done like a, a try on haul or whatever. But yeah, I appreciate you. I hope that's been useful and I will catch up with you soon.